Tale of the Legend of the Dracaena Tree Once upon a time, there was a butcher who specialized in buying pigs to slaughter to sell at the market. His house is next to a village temple. Every day, at dawn, the monks at the temple usually wake up and chant sutras. And as usual, the monk woke up the young monk and rang the bell tomorrow. That was also the time when the butcher was preparing to kill the pig, so he used to use the sound of the bell to wake up for work every day. Just like that, every day is the same and never goes wrong. One night, the monk dreamed that he saw a woman leading five small children in front of him and then bowed, saying, Please save my life. Please save my life. The monk asked the woman, How to save a life? What should I do, poor monk? The mother replied with a frightened expression, Tomorrow, please slow down the bell ringing. For that, my mother and I will be very grateful. The monk woke up and did not understand why. But early that morning, obeying the dream, the monk only silently recited prayers without waking up the little boy to ring the bell. Speaking of that, the butcher slept soundly that day. Until the sun was about a meter high, the temple bell had just begun to ring, startling him awake. Seeing that it was past noon, he did not dare to kill the pig as usual, because if he slaughtered it, when he brought it to the market, he would not be able to kill it. The market was full of people. Angry at missing a market, he rushed to the temple to blame the monk. The monk then brought up the story of last night's dream to explain to the neighbor that it was not his fault. But when as he walked back to his house's pig pen, the butcher was surprised to see that the female pig he bought yesterday, intended for slaughter that morning, had given birth to five piglets. Both happy and scared, he told everyone about the strange thing. It is true that the woman's soul hidden in the female pig tried to save her cubs from death. Suddenly the butcher thought. He saw that his hands were stained with the blood of so many lives. In a moment of extreme regret, he grabbed a gourd knife and ran to the temple to confide his feelings to the monk. He resolutely planted his knife in the temple yard, swearing before the Buddha's altar to retire from now on. It's unclear what happened to the butcher after that, but his knife naturally turned into a tree with red leaves like bloody and sharp as a gourd knife. People still call it one. Archaeology The above story is probably influenced by Buddhist teachings, it is widely circulated by the people. Can be compared with the story of Snake Revenge of Vengeance, number 158, volume 4. In the National Dictionary, the above story is told and the monk is the father of a person from La Exa village, Chan Phuc district, i.e. Gilak, Nagian. Named Tri. At the end of Tran's life, he did not pass the exam, so he became a monk and became a monk in the village temple, taking the name Wanam Zen Master. After stopping ringing the bell to save the mother and child of the woman in his dream, the monk spent money to buy that herd of pigs from the butcher and released them into the forest. Later, the monk was killed by a tiger and termites formed a tomb. But the monk's descendants from then on had a very high position in the La Court. The story scribe meant to say that it was thanks to the mysterious gratitude of the pig and his mother that this happened. A legend about Nguyen Niam also has similar content. Nguyen Niem father of poet Nguyen Du once returned. Playing in his hometown, one night he dreamed that a woman came to him for help. Please save my life. I am pregnant, it is thanks to you that I am able to have a healthy baby. Waking up, he didn't understand anything. 
But then suddenly I saw someone coming to give me a very large carp that had just been caught in a medicinal net. Seeing the pregnant fish, he remembered his dream from yesterday and immediately ordered his family to release it into the river. That night, I dreamed that a certain woman came to thank me, too. Since then, the Chen Dean family has had the custom of abstaining from eating carp. 1. According to the story of the Northerners. 2. According to the genealogy of Trung Khan Kong in Tian Din, Ha Tin. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.